Story. Um, let's go to Verity very quickly. Verity, our question today on the poll was... It was indeed, do you agree that recreational fishing needs tighter restrictions? Do you agree recreational fishing mm -hmm. needs tighter restrictions in the results? 40% of people say yes, 6% of people say no. 40% yes, 60% no. Interesting. Yes. 22 and a half minutes past seven. So a new report sounding the alarm about the sustainability of recreational fishing in New Zealand was out yesterday. Let's have a look at some of the numbers. The number of recreational fishers in the country is estimated by some to be up to 1.3 million people. It's easily one of our most popular activities. Commercial fishing accounts for 400,000 tonnes of our annual take, whilst recreational fishing is just 25,000 tonnes. Almost a fifth of our measurable species are considered to be overfished. These include Orange, Ruffy, Snapper and John Dory, along with Scallops, Power and Pippi. And two weeks ago, researchers announced crayfish in the Hauraki Gulf are on the brink of extinction. So some of it is quite inflammatory. The New Zealand Initiative report yesterday warned unless changes are made to how we fish recreationally, future generations will not have this luxury. They're talking about seasonal restrictions and reduced limits on daily catches and the sizes of fish you can catch. And some of those, of course, are already in place. Joining me now is Legacy spokesperson Scott McIndoe. Scott, good morning to you. Good morning, Paul. Were you surprised when this report came out yesterday? No, no, it's the latest attempt to paint us in a dire place and see us somehow or other shoehorned. OK, when you say paint us, you're talking about recreational fishers. Your organisation represents them. We represent our members, 34,000 club members affiliated to the New Zealand Sport Fishing Council and a growing number of people who are stepping up. Uh, we call them legends. Mm. Uh, $10 a month, there's a 1,000 of them signed up now. We have to resource everything. And they're uh, signed up for what reason? They are sick of being silent. They're speaking up. We are tired of the mismanagement of our inshore fisheries. OK, so you would agree then that there is mismanagement at the moment? Gross mismanagement. 30 years ago, or for the last 30 years, we've lived in false hope that somehow a rather privatising commercial fishing interests would turn these hunters into farmers. That brings some mm, stewardship, mm, yep, kaitiakitanga, yep. some best practice. Well, sadly, quite the reverse. We're still seeing the same archaic bulk harvesting, bottom destruction, trawl... And fish dumping. ...trashing our oceans. All right, so what you would say, speaking for the recreational fisher, is the overwhelming problem here is the commercial catch. The method that the commerce sector used to catch many of the inshore species. How bad are things at the moment? Because when you look at it on the face of it, you know, um, and, and I've given some of the figures out, it doesn't sound good. But then you talk anecdotally to fishers, and, and my own evidence this last season, it's been a spectacular season for snapper. You're obviously a talented angler. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah, approximately, in so many ways. Approximately 50% of those of us targeting snapper come home with a dot ball. Zero catch. Right. Uh, we've lost uh, record of Harpuka, the serial depletion, the John Dory is such a welcome but very occasional mm -hmm. uh, visitor, Gurnard on the east coast, totally unconstrained, uh, Trevally, sacred fish. Mm. Uh, when was the last time anyone had a real good go on the Good trips? point there. All right, so, w so we know there is a problem, and we know, obviously, that we can't continue going the way we are now. We also know that the commercial catch is being looked at. What do you think needs to happen? We need to remove trawling from the inshore fishing zone. We would not know how lucky we are if that destructive method was to mm -hmm. leave the stage. The resuspension of sediments, which we're pouring into the, particularly the Hauraki Gulf, every time they trawl it, back up into the water column. The millions of fish missing in action, uh, everything diving for cover, little things searching for a bit of shelter from this mm -hmm. thing, just crushed, never counted. In terms of recreational fishing, is there a responsibility there? Is there a responsibility to do more? Because obviously the report suggests that um, by 2060 there are going to be 6 million people here, so proportionally that is a lot more recreational fishers. In my opinion, we've got a tremendous responsibility. It's all about respect, ultimately. Uh, uh, for example, what are we doing with our fish heads? So many of us continue to discard them. What should you do with fish heads? Freefishheads.co.nz, where there are 16,000 people registered saying, please give me a call and I'll whip round to your place and pick up your fish heads, heads and frames. I had no idea. Isn't it a good idea to chuck them back in the water? 
on your bike. Uh, <laughs> it is about the, we call it the trifecta of respect. Respect for the animal. But doesn't it, aren't you returning it so that it can be gobbled up by other fish? It's rangaterakai. Mm. This is the ultimate des, uh, taste sensation. Mm. Uh, now, I can talk about the beautiful initiative. The no, you can't because we're out of time. Ah. But um, you've certainly, you've, you've, you've cast a lot of, uh, a cast. <laughs> um, you've, you've suggested a lot of food for thought there. And as you correctly point out, a major slide slice of this has to go to the overwhelming slice of this responsibility has to go to the commercial the commercial fishers thank you so much scott for joining us scott mackendo uh, legacy spokesperson just ahead on